It's on to the finals with a 4 nothing victory against Michigan Tech in the uh, Mason Cup semis. One thing that we talked a lot about before the game and in the week leading up to it was what that game meant for your senior class, given how the way their freshman season ended, getting a chance to kind of play that game again. So what did that win mean to them? I mean, I, you know, I, it's something where I think it's, you know, a chance to come full circle, you know. Um, and the tides definitely had turned um, from that game going forward. You know, and, and now hopefully we can flip those tides back, you know, in our direction, um, you know, for the foreseeable future. So one of the standouts for your team over this playoff run has without a doubt been Ben. I mean, an outstanding game on Saturday. And he's been lights out really all playoffs after that first period in the first game against the Beavers. So when your goalie is bringing that level of play, each and every night. How did does that how does that trickle through to the rest of the lineup to all the guys in front of them? Well, I mean, I think the obvious is, you know, there's going to be times you're giving up scoring chances. And if it's just a scoring chance and that's it, you know, versus a goal, that that changes the, the obvious changes the complexion of the game. Um, but what I think he's done very well is is he he's not giving up a lot of rebounds right now. So there's very few second chance opportunities, and he gives the guys confidence. You know that that we have if we, if something does happen, that we have somebody there that's got it covered. I don't know what your conversations with Benny look like heading into that game, but I know talk about from his perspective, he looks across the other side of the ice. He knows the guy in between the pipes for that squad and the you know season that he's had and the, sh the shutouts that he's had. I have to imagine that goes into his mind like. I have to be on this guy's level or even better for us to have a chance to win this game and talk about what that can do for his, his style. Yeah, um, we didn't we didn't talk about it. Um, obviously, everybody knows what kind of goalie Pietel is, um, you know, and, and when, you know, you're in a game like that, I'm, I'm sure Benny's going into it, you know, with the thought that, you know, this might be a little scoring game and I got to be dialed in and, um, you know, and, and obviously scoring first, you know, that's important in, in games like that. So. Um, I'm sure he thought about it, no doubt. So talking a little more about Benny, he's one of three Wildcats represented on the CCHA All-Rookie Team, which was announced yesterday. Uh, Andre Gantus was announced on the second team uh, a little earlier today as well. So uh, with Joey, Josh Zinger, Benny, and now Andre as well getting uh, all CCHA recognition, can you talk a little bit about these guys and the kind of seasons they've had? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I think for freshmen, you know, Joey, Joey came in as the, you know, preseason, you know, freshman of the year, and he has not disappointed. Um, you know, throughout the course of the year, he's gotten better and better and better. And, and you know, he's probably playing his best hockey of the year right now. Um, Josh and Benny were guys that, you know, where there's a little bit unknown about him, you know, and, and Josh being a converted forward, just moving back to D, um, you know, and, and Benny, you know, coming from, you know, the North American League, you just, so with goal, I shouldn't even say that because, with goalies, you just don't know. You don't know until they get on campus. They could have the best numbers from the best places, but until they get on and start playing, you just don't know. Um, and those two guys had, you know, outstanding years, you know, and um, but a huge part to what we're doing. And in terms of Andre, you know, Andre's, you know, at a stretch of the year where, you know, he's playing like the best player in the league. And, you know, I, I think, you know, we talked at the beginning of the playoffs, we need some Mr. Marches and, you know, Andre's doing a good job. You know, he's been, been leading the charge for us. So the win on Saturday has put the Cats in their third conference championship game over the last six years. So how have you and your staff been able to get the most out of your guys seemingly year after year come playoff time? It's just, you know, I, it's it's something that you know when I worked at for for Don, who's now the commissioner of the league, everything was always your coaching for the end of the year. So, you know, decisions you make that sometimes might cause you some short term pain. You know, as a as a team or as a staff or as a player, um, they're all f for this time of the year. You know, and everything you do, you have to look at. You know, can this help us near the end of the year? And, um, you know, this is kind of, you know, the team I hoped we'd have, um, 
you know, we're, we're, we're kind of coming together at the right time. No better time than now with the Mason Cup Finals this Saturday at Minnesota State Mankato. Coach, your thoughts on this matchup? Well, I mean, I, I think for us, it's, it's we're going to continue our process, you know, and, and be focused on our process. Um, the game is is another opportunity for us. It, it, the same, the playoffs when they started for us, it's been the same every weekend. You know, it's it's an opportunity for us to stay together longer. You know, and and that's you know presents itself again. Um, you know, the the championship would be just be a byproduct of us continuing to be able to stay together. You know, that's the focus of our group is is continuing to try buy more time, and you know. This is this falls in that same category. Now, one thing I would like to ask as well is over the past couple of weeks, we've talked a lot about the process and how you want this team to become a very process-based team. What in the, does all that entail? Are you talking about like when you're trying to build a culture within the team of bringing nothing but their best to the rink each and every day? Is it something like things you guys are working on in practice? Like, what, what all does that process entail? I mean, it's it's just basically what are things that can be repeatable success? You know, telling a guy he's got to score a goal, that's that's not repeatable success. You know, some guys are going to score more than other guys, but, um, you know, everybody can have great discipline. Um, everybody can win races to pucks. Um, everybody can make smart decisions with the puck. Um, you know, the, the, everybody can sacrifice their body for the betterment of the group. You know, like those are the type of things that we talk about, um, you know, and, and those are all repeatable. So, you know, you're just asking them to do things they're capable of. Looking at the other side of the bracket, and Cato, their offense, well, they did to Ferris, obviously pretty impressive. And you look at their power play unit, in particular, three for four and finding the back of the net there. What do you guys do there in your limited uh, penalty kill against Michigan Tech? I think Benny had 10 saves in that, and, you know, guys seem to put together a pretty decent unit there. How do you address that moving forward to this one? Yeah, no, their their power play's been on fire. Um, I think they're 10 for their last 17. It's like 60%. We got to stay out of the box. You know, that's that's the number one thing. You just, you, you can't go into a game, um, you know, and take a bunch of penalties and ex expect to, you know, to, to win. You know, we, we got to, we got to have great discipline, um, you know, and if, if we do take one, you know, we got to be dialed into to what we do, you know, and we'll have a, we'll have a plan and, um, you know, obviously there's things that happen in your plan that you got to adjust on the fly, you know, because going into it, you, you, you think you want to try and deny some of these things and then other things open up. So we're going to have to just, you know, be able to adjust on the fly.